Hi, welcome back to Element 14 Presents. I'm Katie, and in today's episode, I'm going to be playing with Lego again. <laughs> When I started with these project videos, my first project was a Raspberry Pi Lego camera. If you don't remember this, if you haven't seen it, I'll put a link below. But I basically took a Raspberry Pi, the HD camera, and built it inside a Lego shell to make a working Lego camera. I really enjoyed the mixing electronics with Lego. It was great fun. But since then, Raspberry Pi and Lego have actually got together and made a Raspberry Pi build hat specifically for controlling your Lego with a Raspberry Pi. So this hat fits on a Raspberry Pi. You slot it on and then you've got four connectors for the Lego uh, accessories. There's a range of motors and sensors. There'll also be a link in the episode description on where to find the compatibility uh, for these. So different ones do different things. There's an older style connector which uh, doesn't work with these but if it's that shape it should work. The only other thing to consider with the build hat is that if you power the Raspberry Pi normally you can only use sensors uh, it doesn't have enough power to drive the motors if you're using the USB-C or the micro USB if you've got an older Raspberry Pi. So there is also a build hat power supply. But when you use this, this will also power the Raspberry Pi. So you only need the one. With this, there's many different motors and we've got several in our house. Uh, this is a motor that comes out of the Lego Boost sets. The build hat can control it, can turn it on and off, but these style motors don't have any encoders, so you can control it based on position. However, I've also got a Lego Spike Prime set, and the kit in here has a different style motor, which has full encoders positioning. There's two different sizes of motors, and so that's the large one and that's the medium one. There is a smaller one you can get as well, but not as part of this kit. Uh, it also contains ultrasonic range sensor, uh, pressure sensor, color sensor, and another motor. So usually you would use the stuff in this kit with the spike hub. Now this is a nifty hub you can program it using block language or Python. So you might say, well, what's the difference with programming that in Python and using Python on the Raspberry Pi to control the same motors? But the thing that this really gives you is that you can also plug in anything onto the Raspberry Pi to control. So LEDs, other accessories, peripherals, which you wouldn't be able to plug into the Lego one. But the other thing that I think it would be really good for is that with the Raspberry Pi, you've got connection to the internet. With the Lego Hub, you haven't got any other connections other than to the actual sensors. So with that in mind, I'm going to do a project using the build hat and the Lego spike motors and get data from the internet to use. So I thought a really good one of this would be to use a weather API. So I'm going to get the day's weather forecast and use the motors to display the current weather. That's something that you wouldn't be able to do if you were using this. And I think it's going to just be a nice introduction into using this. Let's get started. So my first step is going to be to build the Lego frame to put our motors on and to display the weather. So I'm going to use my Lego, the normal pieces that come in the kit. So it's got a couple of these big yellow sort of plates. So I'm going to put two of those together. I've just put a connector in every other hole and then I can squeeze them together. So now I've got that. That's a nice base to set it on. I'm going to use some connectors and these 
rectangles to give it some legs. Now it will stand up. I think it's quite upright though to actually see the display. Um, unless you've got it at eye level, you might not see it clearly. So I'm just gonna take, I've got three of these strips connected together. I'm going to put these on the bottom as sort of a riser like that. So now I think that's a bit of a better angle. So now I've got that set, I'm going to attach my motors to it, ready to display. Are you an engineer, electronics hobbyist or maker? Join the Element 14 community, where you can learn about new products and technologies, see cool projects, and connect directly with the people that make the products and engineers that use them. Join now! So I've used Inkscape to uh, just make this overlay. I've gone for clear and simple. That's what I wanted, but it also serves as sort of a template if you're making this at home. Change the font, change the colour, put a nice background on, put some pictures. It's all up to you. But I've got this cut out here. So the weather today is, and then this will be a cut out hole that the weather will show through. I've got the temperature gauge here. I'm going to cut out the black square in the middle to show the temperature in behind. I've made this specifically for my location. We don't see temperatures below minus five and we don't really see them much above 25 in degree C. If where you are is different to this, then you might want to adjust this gauge and the code to show for your area. The same with wind speed, I've gone for 0 to 70 miles per hour. You might want to change that too. I've got a circle here that I'm going to cut out. So then the arm for the indicator will stick through there. So to go with this, I've also got this wheel. So this has got a, a picture to display each weather type and this will rotate behind that cutout and display the one we want to display. And then finally, I've got this bar that I'm going to cut out and stick on the rod that Linear activates for the temperature gauge. And the temperature that it's displaying will be where the blue and the red meet. So I'm going to get these printed out on normal printer card that I can print at home. Uh, and then we'll cut them out. And then all that's left is the coat. So this is on the Pi. I followed the Build Hat setup instructions, so uh, I'll include the link below for these. But mainly you have to go in to the configuration and enable serial port and disable serial console. Uh, that's because the Raspberry Pi talks to the Build Hat over serial. So on my code, uh, I also have to install Build Hat, but that's all listed in the setup guide. So I'm importing things I need. I've got a weather lookup. So this is set to go off the Met Office API. If you're not using the Met Office, you might need to adjust it. But these are all the different weather types it feeds back. And I've shortened the 31 different types into eight. So there's a not valid, which I'm ignoring. So I'm shortening them all down to sunny, sun and cloud, cloudy, rainy, heavy rain, hail, snow and thunder. So I've got my look up to look that up. I've got my weather feed from the Met Office. So this is for location 3808, which is a few miles away from where I live. The key, there is eight stars there in the key on this version. When you register for the Met Office API, you set up an account online and you get your own personal key. So you will need to change that to your own key, but it's free to register to use it for your own personal use. So then I'm getting the weather feed. I'm extracting the data for weather type, temperature and wind speed. 
I've got my motors being set up. So motor A is the weather, motor B is the temperature and motor C is the wind speed. I then looking up the type, converting it using that lookup that I made, changing the dial to show the weather. Uh, these all reset to zero at the start of this so it knows where they are. So then I move it on the degrees. I've got the temperature so it figures out the temperature and adjusts that and the wind speed and it adjusts that. And then this is a daily forecast so it's only changing once a day. So all I've done is I've added this Python into crontab and set it to run at one minute past 6am each day to update. So that's all the code. So now we can have a look at it working. So the last thing to do is to put our overlay on here. Here's the overlay. I'm going to uh, use some white tack to stick the moving bits to it. This is because I don't want to damage the Lego. I'm just going to stick this one on there. I'm going to use a couple bits of blue tack and stick the temperature on. Now the temperature is a bit more difficult because I need to line it up to start with. So the trick with this is uh, make sure the motors are reset to zero before you stick anything on so you know the starting position. So you line up the bar with that little circle. So we've got that one and that one. So the place where the red and blue meets is the temperature and the default when the motor's in position zero is minus five. So I want to line that up. Now, the last thing left. So I've got the Python set up as a cron job. So all I need to do is plug the power in, hide that behind at the back and wait for it to start. So now it's displaying the weather. We can check using the app on my phone. So the current weather is cloudy, correct. The temperature is five degrees, correct. And the wind speed is seven, which is, that would be five. So that would be about seven. So that's all super. I'm really happy with that. So uh, let's take a closer look. So I'm really pleased with how that's gone. Uh, it was a nice, simple, easy project, but it's got the basics of using the build hat with the Lego Spike Prime set. We're displaying the weather and using the Met Office API to fetch the weather. You can change the API to one you'd prefer. You can change your location. You can change the overlay card to make it your own project. I think it'd be a really good project to get someone started in electronics uh, who liked Lego or programming a Raspberry Pi who really liked Lego. Um, and I found it quite fun to do. But the next thing is, where can I take this? I feel it's just a starting project. Let me know if you've got any ideas of what I could do next. Pop over to the Element 14 community at the link below and let me know what you'd like to see me do. Uh, I've got an idea of a project, but it'd be interesting to s hear what you guys think. For now, that's all, so we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.